Right now in Africa, particularly in South Africa, we have an issue of, um, for example, South Africa is almost the kind of imperialist hub of the continent. So it acts in many ways as the, the way the USA acts in Latin America. It very much is dominated by big finance capital, huge agro-businesses, as well as huge um, mineral and mineral resource corporations. We still also inherit the same, um, those who owned during apartheid, during the racial segregation, the white minority, continue to own, maintain and drive industries, particularly agriculture and mining. And coming from an organization that originally um, uh, was initiated and created by trade unions, we are very much connected to the labor and the labor exploitation that happens in Africa. We also have a problem because South Africa is seen as a, a very democratic country. It's seen as having one of the most progressive constitutions, but fundamentally it doesn't attack and doesn't um, clearly articulate the difference between rights discourse, like liberal rights discourse, and actually pushing for institutions and organizations of people's power or of, of popular power. Coming to Venezuela, the most incredible experience has been seeing the level of organization that happens in all sectors of society, whether it's young people leading recreational groups, whether it's the agroecological movement. They, everyone is part of organization and it starts in the home. It starts in um, what South Africans would consider are the private or personal space, but in fact are fundamentally political because how we share food, how we reproduce ourselves is fundamentally a political question. So being in Venezuela, being exposed to the, the very high levels of consciousness in the popular sense is extremely new to us. It's something we'll definitely be taking home. Children, and giving Brothers and sisters, the 